So we got to start back to listening to the Bible. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, uh -huh. which is not written in the book of this law, uh -huh. them will the Lord bring upon thee un Read. until thou be destroyed. So the Bible say that once you go to doing all this stuff, you eating pork. You defiling your temple because your body is God's temple. He made that for you. That's right. That thing ain't supposed to be perfect for God. And the Bible say that. That's what the Bible talking about. The Bible say be ye perfect. That's how you be perfect, by not defiling your temple. You know what I mean, little brother? That's right. All right, we're going to get our uh, 1 Corinthians 3.16. Because if you don't believe that our body is God's temple, we're going to read it to you in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? See, the Bible say that you're the temple of God. So why would you defile God's temple with pork? Why you want to be sick? Why you want to be sick? Tell me that. What brother or sister want to be sick around here? Who won't gout? Bring it up. People like, people, people like stuff like pork, right? Go in there and fix you some bacon and see if you don't get sick from it. Bring it out. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the Bible say the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. How is going to dwell in you if you defile your body with cigarettes, with pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster? It can't dwell in you. Because now you're defiling. You're going against everything that the Bible tells you to do. That's, that's what we've been taught in the Christian church. We got to come out of that. That's a sickness. We're trying to straighten that out. Read on. Verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So the Bible say, once you defile his temple, he going to destroy you. And you remember what I was saying? All right, young brothers. Hey, hey, what color is Jesus Christ again? Black. That's right. That's hey, right. how you forget, little brother? <laughs> Ma'am? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Um... Well, you just say what you're saying. So mm -hmm. you have the yes, I I had high blood pressure before. Okay. Yeah. And then the fire got temple. I was eating pork. Okay. <laughs> you got a temple yeah, that's right. That's right. But I didn't want to know. Okay. Titus three and three. This is what the Bible say right here. Check this out, sister. Before you go, check. Okay. Check this out. Titus three and three. Cause we all messed up at one time. Cause we had to come from somewhere, and all of us came through all sorts of walks of life. That's right. Hey, I'm going to tell you this. The brothers up here, they was drug dealers. They were doing all kinds of stuff. They were breaking all kinds of laws. That's right. That's right. That's right. Whoremongers, all that. We done all done all that. But we had to change. We had to change our mindset. Read. Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So the Bible say we was foolish. That means we didn't know a darn thing. Because we weren't keeping no laws. We were just doing what we wanted to do. That's right. That's right. Hey, listen, this is what the Bible said. Give me uh, Mark 7 and 21. Because the mind, the mind is something else. That's right. But let me show you something in the Bible. Give me that in Mark 7 and 21. The book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of man, proceed. Evil thoughts. So, what you think with? The Bible say uh, out of the heart. What do you think with? For the man thinking. Yeah, but what do you think with? You think with your head, right? Your brain. That's what oh, he's talking about. Sometimes you think with the wrong head. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, but you think with your brain, though. That ain't your brain. That, yes, it is. Because if we don't know the laws of God, then we're going to do whatever our minds say do. And that's what we do nowadays. Read. Proceed the, evil thoughts. Uh -huh. Adultery. So the Bible say adultery. It you know what adultery is, right? It comes from anatomy too. Yeah, but you got to think with this. You got to use this first. You got to use this. What you say, a zombie is just going to walk into it? Yeah, but how, you can't think down there. You think right here. But they do. No, you cannot think with that. Read that again. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Read. The book of Mark, chapter 7, and verse 21. Uh-huh. For from within, uh -huh. out. Of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts. So the Bible say, out of the heart of men, it's talking about your brain cells. Because you got to think about when you want to do something wrong. You got to think about that thing. You put in your 
That's right. But see, you got to think about it. We put a lot of garbage in there because on TV nowadays, all kinds of garbage on there. Our children looking at that garbage. The cartoons got garbage in it. Homosexuality everywhere. We be wondering why our children acting like a woman, effeminate. The Bible don't say do that. Read the rest of it. Bring it out. Adulteries. So the Bible say adulteries, right? You got to think. You got to sit there and use your mind and think about what you're going to do before you commit adultery. You got to go out there and say, look, I'm going to go out here and cheat on my wife. Right. So you got you to gotta think about when you're going to do it. How you gonna do it? You might walk in the house and say, I'm gonna make her mad tonight so I can leave early and go get me some. Right. What did you That's do adultery. It? What did you right. do in the tenant? Say that again? Tell that did you do it? I used to back in the days. I used to. I don't do it now. That's right. Read. Fornication. Fornication. Just like I said, you riding and sleeping around. We don't supposed to do that. The Lord like marriage. He don't like us doing that. He don't right. want our sister to be yours. That's right. Read. Murders. So he said murderers. When you come through the PJs, what happened in the PJs most of the time in the project, sis? Men to be too yeah, but listen, sis, get off of that for a second. What happened in our what happened in our projects between our young people? What are they doing to each other? Killing each other. That's what I'm saying. The Bible says you gotta think about that before it happens. Right. right. Cause if you're selling drugs to somebody and then you, you, the man owe you some money, you gonna get mad over five dollars and kill the man yeah. over nothing. We can't be doing that to each other. We brothers and sisters. That's why we out here. We out here trying to change the way our people think. That's all. Right. Read. Thefts. Thefts. So we got people around here that's thieves. You know we got thieves around here. Cause it's thieves in every black neighborhood. They're going to break in your stuff and steal it. Why you think black folks move in in the middle of the night? Folks stealing from them. Break it out. Read. That's right. Covetousness. Covetousness. We got people around here want to wanna be rich. All black folks want to be rich. They'll go cross the, the state line to go buy a lotto ticket. Bring it out. Talking about they going to be rich. My, my ticket going to hit this week. Don't they do that? Read. Wickedness. Wickedness. We wait, wait a minute. We're gonna find out what wickedness. Give me uh Genesis 6 and 5. We're gonna find out what wickedness is. Because people don't know what wickedness is. Because we're in the midst of wickedness every time we go out and teach. But people don't realize what wickedness is. Read that. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man uh -huh. was great in the earth. Uh -huh. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. See, you hear that? So the thoughts in your brain is always evil if you don't go by this Bible. That's right. Because right. that's what happened to us. We want to sit here and, and complain about stuff. We want to march up and down the street talking about no justice, no peace. But the first place that you got to start at is in your own mind. Because if you don't start in your own mind, then you're going to be out there committing wickedness right along with them. Right. You'll be a hypocrite, right? If you're doing the same thing the other people do. I can't believe that JoJo shot such and such. But yet, you breaking commandments too. Right. Start with self. Yeah, start with self. We're going we finna to find out what's saying here. Give me first uh Give me uh, First John 3 and 4. We better find out what sin is. Because our people nowadays, they don't know what sin is. They just think sin being nice to folks. That's why they always say, what about the white man? The white man love us. What about the white man? But we're going to show you what sin is. Read. The book of First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So the Bible say, when you break his commandments, you gonna get dealt with. Cause it say sin is the transgression of the law. You hear that sister? That's what sin is. And we break it, we breaking God's commandments when we doing a lot of things that he tell us not to do. So we gonna, we gonna see if you're a woman of God. Cause we gonna break out of sin right now that you in the midst of right now. You got that? You run them in 22 5. Bring it out. We're going to bring out a sin that you're in the midst of. We're going to see if you change. So next time when we come through, we're going to see if you uh, straighten that sin out. Because we all had to straighten the sin out, right? We all had to get ourselves together. Read. 
The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. The woman. So the Bible says the woman. This is going straight to the woman. And it ain't talking about mankind. The woman. That's what it said, right? Okay, read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what's a woman's garment that a man will wear? What's a woman's garment that a man will wear? What are women supposed to wear? What do princesses wear when you see them on TV? No band. No, no, sis, princesses wear dresses. Okay, That's right. They wear dresses. We ain't bringing it out to hurt your feelings. We ain't bringing it out to hurt nobody's feelings out here. We brought it out just so people can know, hey, maybe I'm in the wrong. Because like I was telling the young brothers, when they go to the store, what you see? What you see? You see women in tight pants, right? I don't look like it. I'm saying, don't you see that though? You see spandex all over the place? See women in booty shorts? The Bible say you're a princess. Read that one more time so she can hear this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the Bible say, don't wear that that pertaineth to a man. You know what pertaineth to a man? Uh -huh. What we got on? What, what all us fellas got on? We ain't got on dresses. Yeah, that's right. And what's on the front of everybody's pants? A zipper, right? No, you're not a man. You're a woman. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to help you so you can start dressing according to what the Bible say dress. That's right. That's what we're doing. We ain't, we ain't trying to we ain't trying to offend you in that. But uh, give me that in First Timothy 2 and 9. And when you put on the dress, it don't do it for to be tight on your body. Do it for to be tight on your body. That's right. So this is what the Bible say. We ain't saying this. He reading the Holy Bible. You read the Bible, right? He reading the Holy Bible. Read that. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring it out. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So the Bible say that when you get that dress, that beautiful dress, because you ain't got to dress like Grandma Gooch. You can dress nice in a pretty dress. Because they got nice dresses, don't they, sister? That's right. They got nice dresses that don't show your shape, that don't have men lusting after you, that don't have men sitting up there uh, committing a sin, because it's fornication to even look on a woman right. to lust. Did you know that? That means that you your brother's keeper. So that means that you helping your, you actually helping your neighbor Free with that. Because when you do stuff like this, you helping your people. Hey, we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.